All right, got a thumbs up and nobody watching. That is awesome. Just a wonder how the wonder how the world works. Welcome everybody. Welcome as y'all stroll in, stroll in. Hey Tara. Keep your dirty socks out of here. For one thing, oh, one fell in there. It fell down there. Okay. Second is, um, have you found that piece yet? Okay. Oh, I'm not really worried about it. I just wanted you to let's see. Hello, everybody. Waiting on everybody to pop their head in. Hey, come here. Maybe if you can't mind. Um... I told you we were doing this. Like you. Oh, us. Oh, okay. Um, let me finish with her and um, finish the room so Mama can okay. get in there. Okay. 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 Hey, Addison. Yeah. Tara's gotta go. Okay. Okay. Love you. Love you. Bye. Let me. Bye, baby girl. Bye, bye. Papa, Papa loves you. I love you too. All right, mind you, Mama. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm done. All right. Yeah, I'll forgive me now. I had to turn the camera around and use the sucky camera on the front. I was trying to make this little pen right here, when, and I have it made. And my question is, um, with this tool post holder, I got it all the way over to the right-hand side, as far as I can go, and keep the T-nut in there. It's got a lot of leverage in it. It flexes things, and it, it just instead of cutting, even with a honed bit, this bit was sharp enough to shave glass, and it um it would not thread. All it would do is the bit, the stock would ride up on top of the bit, and get hung on top of it. Uh, and I don't I don't know why it was in here like this. It was tightened up all the way up to that. Uh, excuse me, all the way up to that shoulder, right there. All that was in the chuck. I tightened it up, and and I was I was about a thousandth or two above the center line, maybe a little bit more. There's a hair above it, and it would just as soon as it touched it, it would just it would just raise up and uh, start trying to run under it. And the second thing is is I got the compound at about. Well, about 29 degrees, somewhere in give or take a, a degree or two. And I was going to try to run in there and put the center in there. Hey, Doug. Hey. I was going to try to run in there and put the center in there. But if you, as you can see, let me get it over here. I can't back you up a whole lot. But that is the compound. It's up against the uh, thing. And uh, now this, this wouldn't be turned at an angle threading. I understand that this would be straight. That doesn't move it over. But this is all how much this compound, how much this uh, quill extends out. Right. Hold on, I'm getting to it. Right there. That's it. So you can see there's a distance from here to here. Now, yeah, right now this is in the way, but it wouldn't be if this were set properly. Right now I was doing something else. But... So, there's a four-inch gap, uh, roughly a, roughly a, um, yeah, um, roughly about a four-inch gap that I have to clear. And so, that was why a lot of the times y'all were asking something, I don't know who exactly asked, there she is, some of y'all asked, well, why do I have the, uh, 
tail stop or why do I have the compound swung all over to the other side and that was to get everything this way so that the carriage went under the chuck so that I could get the tail stock close enough to uh, support something and even with a, t with a compound like this um, you can run it all the way out you can run it all the way back where it's supposed to be Uh, let's see, where's my half inch? Hey, it must have been on the floor. Oh, here, it was in plain sight. So even if I run this back like this, we'll use the box in here. And I would set this square. And I would square it up against the chuck, but we're not actually do, going to do it. So I put it right there so that the thing gets a good grip, right in the middle. And you can see, just me tightening it up, it's flexing. For one thing, one thing, if you look right back here on the back, right back there, scribe, uh, long pointy scribe you jab at people with. If you look right back here, somebody, there's supposed to be an iron piece back here that has two high spots. One on this side, one on this side, and then there's a hollowed out spot in the middle. Because you don't need, if you have contact from here all the way across to here, that's four or five inches of contact dragging on that way underneath. That's um, a lot of friction to try to overcome. So, I got to find the piece that only touches over here about three quarters of an inch, over here about three quarters of an inch, and then you bolt it right in the center. And it's about, oh, I think it's about three-eighths of an inch thick, half-inch thick. Hello, Stephen Lang. Hello. All right, so, uh-oh, I think, I think we're dropping here. Yes, we are. I think we can get the kick. Ah. That's gonna suck. There we go. Well, let's try this. I'm trying to get the camera back to where it's not uh, blinding, y'all. Now I'm working off of a uh, stand. Oh, come on, you stupid camera. There we go. All right. Turn it down a little bit. Oh, it's the lights and the lights and the ceiling that are glaring. So let's touch it down. Just touch. There we go. Alright. So, my thing is, I, I need a new uh, compound. Or I need a new... Get you right down here. I need a new one of these. New uh, s s uh, s slide. Saddle. Y'all don't care. I, I used to know all the names. Now I don't. Okay. Saddle. Yes. Because... When I first got it, this side back here, towards the motor, was 42 thousandths higher than this side over here. Right here. I checked it from the top of the way to here. And it was 42 thousandths above the way than this. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Um, so... And then from left to right, it was 32,000. Ah, okay. Well, there we go. We'll get a lot. We'll get a lot. Of, well, yeah, that bearing makes up a good bit in there. So, um, and to get this level, because I noticed that when I would start on what was the center of a piece of stock out here, let's just say the diameter of where this jaw is right here from center of the chuck, and then by the time I got in, I was cutting downhill, or I mean cutting uphill. I would uh, line it up with the center and then go in and check it, and I'm above the center. So I would adjust it so that it was right in the center of the, of the stock and come back out, and then I'm down below the face of it, and it's trying to ride on top of it again. So the, so the, the thing was like this, sitting in there. It was sitting in there like this. 
42,000 higher in the back. So I filed that down and got it where it's set level. And then, I, and then I, what I did is I also checked it with the stair level, put the stair level on the ways, and then I put, them on, put it on the saddle. And the ways in the saddle, I, I adjusted it until I got them both reading the same amount. Yes, Stephen, I did not know. Well, no, Stephen, I did not know it was 1 o'clock in the morning. So, I'm going to get the new one, or not the new one, but the ones that I've seen that come with this lathe. The ones that I've seen that come with this lathe. Get this stupid wrench out of the way. They're about three-eighths of an inch thick, and they have a little pad of iron, a little iron pad about this width right here, and about this width right here. So, that's all it touches the ways. This has a piece of metal somebody put on here that's going all the way across. So, if you tighten it down so this doesn't rock, and holds it tight on the ways and like it's supposed to, then you can't hardly move it. And when you try to move it under power feed, the front part tries to go ahead of the back part. And it, and then it then it's and now now when you get to the front, the uh I lost my level there. I lost my scribe. Now when you get to the front up here uh hold on. There we go. Now when you get to the front up here, the, um, oops, well, that didn't work. Sorry about that, y'all. This right here was down too low that the, uh, half nut wouldn't engage. You know, because the half nut is basically, a, a well, y'all know how it's made. It's a long piece, and then they thread it all the way through straight, and they cut out half of the bottom on one end and, ha and the half of the top on the other end and then everything in the middle and there you go you got one piece over here and then one piece over here and when you when you come down you're like this so i had to space this up um uh, so uh i don't know call it half of don't not knowing what you're doing and but i got common sense and i think that this right here should be parallel to the way you're sitting below it both left and right and front to back Y'all tell me if I'm wrong. You know, I can admit when I'm wrong. Like, see, that camera is crooked. If you ask me if that camera is crooked, I'll say yes, it's crooked. So, I don't know. Y'all tell me. There we go. I feel like I'm under a searchlight. Can you speak? Hi. What'd you do today? I just helped you. Did muscle work? You helped me? I thought I was asleep. Yeah, I think you were asleep for a little bit, but then you woke up. Ah, okay. And you, oh, you went to the gym? Yes, I did. I went to the gym. What do you need now? I need a rag to wipe off my hands. Yes, I hate using them little blue paper towels. But I tried threading a while ago, and my daughter said, well, why don't you do it on, uh, um, I can't, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, my, I cannot stop looking at the center of the screen, which is, to y'all, is right there, but to me, it's way over here, over that way, there, go that way, <laughs> keep going, right, right there, <laughs> all right, so, I found out something, two things, I'm asking everybody that's watching, I found online, this, this, uh, uh, Chuck. um, headstock, headstock, headstock shaft. I know what this stuff is called. I just can't, just don't worry about whether I call it the right thing. Anyway, the headstock shaft, uh, I found it where somebody was making it solid. This one's hollow. And I wonder if I change that out to one that's solid. And putting the new rear bushing in. The front bushing's adjustable. You can adjust it in a cone and it, it'll just keep tightening up until it runs out of bushing. But but the uh and then tighten up the cross side. Well, I'm a young truck driver. Well, I don't I don't drive trucks. I used to. Well, I don't I don't anymore. I drove for I drove dump trucks. Dump, 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 dump. Lord mercy. That child of mine will turn anything into a joke. 
Alright. Stephen, that's something to think about. I was hoping Ryan would be on here. I was going to show... Where's that uh, other piece? This is... Where the... Um, well, I've done filed on it a little bit. That's where the boring bar snapped off. And I was taking a little bitty tiny cuts. And because this thing was jumping around, it, it got caught and just pink popped it right off. So, matter of fact, there's what's left of it. There's a piece of carbide in there. Yeah. So, I don't know. Is it still usable? Yeah, it's usable. Okay. So, that's my question for the evening. Yes, yes, yes. I, this lathe, I realize it's a little tiny lathe. I realize it's a small lathe. I realize that it's, um, you know, not going to be a big clothing or a big LeBlanc or a big South Bend or anything like that. I understand all that. But um, you can't tell me that every single one of these small lathes, everybody uh, could only do one or two things. They could only do certain things and that's it. So I, I don't know. So y'all tell me. What? See what she does? <laughs> Peekaboo. I can see you. <laughs> la la la. Up in the sky. <laughs> Yeah, it's cheaper than strangling them. Come here. No, don't tear me. Don't tear me. Tear off. Alright, well that's all the questions I have for tonight. And this is a live video in case somebody's watching it later on and realizes, well, they're not doing anything. Well, no, it's a live video. Well, that didn't make any sense, but. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I really don't. Uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dancing. There you go. We're party town now. <laughs> hey, you brought me the. My granddaughter. Granddaughters do the same thing. Well, that's my daughter, actually, but yeah, I have, my granddaughter does do, do that to me. Hey, for, for everybody that's had a, for everybody that's had one drink too many, yes, you really do see bubbles. You do. <laughs> I don't know what that one's about. I say old eight millimeter film. There we go. Oh, that's like those old 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 movies. Yeah. It's looking up, beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Yes. Everywhere I go. That's not even a song. You made that up. Well. We make up songs. More like the, so the kitty song, the weird song sensation. I can use the fine adjustment to raise it up just a little. Meep, meep. No, it's meep, meep. Not meep, meep. Meep, meep. Meep, meep. I don't have a long bar, but, uh, um, I have a screwdriver that I think it'll chuck up on. Um, okay. Right, no, not there. Let me make sure it's unplugged. Yep, it's working. 
Alright. Oh, with this. He's talking about with this. Oh. I'm about to set it on the headstock because I can't, um. He said no, God. I didn't know which one. Well, he didn't. You can't measure with that. Alright, so let's, uh, hang on. Let's do this. Looks like pure sugar. What it looks like. Nah. There we go. Let's see here. Let me get this. There. Alright, let's see. God needs glitter in his hair. <laughs> no, yes! no, no. Yes. No, no, David. We don't need any more glitter. Alright, let's see here. It has I can, it it thing flexes. Yeah. That's just with my thumb. I'm just pulling up on it with my thumb. That's about fifteen twenty thousandths. Give or take. Uh, ah, whoops. I forgot that. That is a problem. What's a problem? Yeah. That's what it does. When, when you go to cutting, it just raises up. It just raises up. And I've already come in here and tightened up the thrust bearing. and I've already tightened up the collar on the back and pulled everything over. Um, I tightened up the bearing as per the, in, as per the instructions. Oh, no. No. This thing, it, I think the shaft is simply too small. Too small. What are we going to do about it? Uh, get a bigger lathe. What are we going to do about it? Oh, not a bigger lathe. You should have a couple of thousands. And we don't. No. We don't. That we don't. No, that we don't. Let me get this screwdriver out of here. Mm -hmm. Tara come up with this idea, Stephen. She wanted to keep the little red tips on here so that you could see it. And say, hey, you know, danger, red. But we couldn't get them to stay on. So what did we do? So we heat shrink. We put some heat shrink on them, and now they stay on there, where well, they don't come off when you're turning them. I mean, you can see it moving. No. Stop for a minute. Yes, this back bearing back here. I won't bet I don't have anything to lift it, Chris. If I take the chuck off. But I just saw what it's doing. Hang on a minute. Let's see if I can get y'all around here. Looks like the back bearing. Yes, exactly. Ah, hold on. Yeah, hold on a minute. Ah. I know that's upside down, but this gear right here. I can't tell if they can see it or not. Yeah, they can see it. You can feel it moving. It's a high tendrils high. Yeah, that back bearing is gone. Put a rod through the spindle. Um, oh. Uh, Shadow Dog said. But I, I can tell right here. Oh. Let's see if I can put this. Right here. Yeah, hold on just a minute. Y'all see that? Ah! I don't think they can. Let me see. Oh, no, they can't see it. Hey, hold on a minute. I can see it. What is it? Right, there we go. Now, excuse me. Ah, we're coming. 
Oh my God. There we go. What are you doing to them? Hammers will fix them. <laughs> yes, David, they will. They will, David. But the, the, when I put the uh, when I put the indicator on the back gear, on the tail, on the uh, drivetrain, on the gears, quick change gears. Well, not quick change, but on the change gear end of the spindle, um, and flex the chuck out here. That goes up and down about two thousandths, and you multiply that over six inches, and by the time two it gets out here, it's a good bit. Two times six is twelve. Yeah, it's about that. So. Well, twelve inch, about twelve. Let's uh, put you back over here on the thing. You want me to get this right here for you? No, we got these already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I will look around and see if. I can find a bushing to go in the back and replace that bushing before I make any more uh, changes to it. Okay. But I do want to get a new a new cross bed for it because when I first got it, it was cutting a lot better than this. And I oiled it, I oiled it, I oiled it, I oiled the pull out of it. Oil's not the problem. Give us a second. We're, um, our charger. There we go. Put the charger on there. Turbo power connected, it says. It's turbo power, so it charges really, really fast. Seriously? It yes. Really fast. All right. So, um, Stephen and um, David and both Stephen Thorne and Lang. And, oh, and, um, and Shadow. Our, uh, Chris. Chris. Y'all have a good night. We're going to uh, go in there and eat supper. And uh, I just found out now that it needs that back bearing. Front spindle bearing. Yeah. Yes. But it pivots like this, Stephen. When, when this can raise up and down, it's allowing this to pivot in it. No. I got it tight right now. It, it's uh to the point of... Uh, you can't hardly turn it. I mean, when you tighten up this back nut right here. Sorry, Scott. I missed the start. Oh, it was Ryan. I think it was. Yep, Ryan. Hi, Ryan. It's all right. You can always go back and watch the beginning. Watch the end. It's, it's, it's not pivoting. Let me see if I can show it to you like this. It's not raising up and down like this. It's doing this. So the fr the front the fact that <sighs> come on well one minute just falling all over the place all right there there we go the fact what it's doing is this back of this shaft is coming is coming up to right here and when I let the back down the front comes up but now you multiply that over the length of this chuck whereas the the old chuck was about this long. The old chuck only come out to about right here, including the jaws. This chuck's a lot longer. This chuck's about an inch longer. And so it's pivoting in this bearing right here. And this is what it, and this is what it's doing. You drop this one down a few thousandths, and because it's pivoting right here, this point back here is coming up or down by a lot. See, here's the old chuck. See, the old chuck went right there, way back here. There's the body of the chuck, back. Yeah, the front has a bushing. I meant bushing. I don't know why I said bearing. Hey, Ryan. I don't know why I said bearing. Well, it's a bearing surface, but yeah, bushing. Like bushing, yeah. Bushing. And so that's, what's happening is, is it's moving back here on the back. Right, when you tighten this bearing when you tighten this bearing down, it pulls it into a tapered hole. The hole in this casting right here is tapered. The harder you pull it in, this bearing is split four ways. It's split like this. 
and it comes together like this and squeezes on the shaft. Like that. Okay. So if this back bearing is pulling, then it's this, this front one is letting the truck raise up and down. That's the only thing I can think of. Well, either way it goes. Either way it goes. Whether I'm right or whatever. I replace this bushing and replace this bushing on the back. If I can find some new old stock bushings. But you can you can watch it when you're cutting with something. When you're cutting with something, this just raises up. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't do it in aluminum. Let me let me try something here right quick. Best laid plans of mice and men. Alright, watch out. Alright. That's a little too big. Hold on, let me find a better, smaller bar. All right, hold on. All right, there you go. goes up get back here I'm moving all right trying to get it all right that's zero that's on the back and I'm gonna raise up on it this is just a uh, Allen wrench I'm up about Two thousand, and it comes down about about five. Right. So when 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 this thing goes pushing up on the front of the chuck, trying to trying to cut on something, it's able to move the back end. It pivots the back end down through the front bushing, down five thousandths of an inch, and it so it's, it's sitting there doing this. Yeah, you can really feel it that way. Yeah. Let's see if I can get you where we can see that. How much is moving front to back. It's probably going to be glare on, the, on it. Yeah, that's worse. Alright, let me put it on something. Put it on zero again. Alright, that's zero. That's moving about. I'll go back. Uh, it again. That is a big part of your chatter. That's about six. About six thousandths to the front. I can pull it to the front. Now you see the the thing is bending, but it, it moves the six before it starts bending, and then to the back it goes about two. Yeah, about six, almost seven. There you go. Now that bushing on the back, I can probably replace it and find it myself. 
I may have to get a home and uh, you know dial it up in the four jaw and properly make sure it's centered and then hone it to the right size of the shaft. But um, when this thing go gets under a pull, it's like um, it's just like you know a truck pulling a tr another truck out of a ditch. It gets under a good pull. And everything, all of his suspension is tightened up and everything's all torqued up and he pulls. And then the guy in the back uh, spins his wheels off and on. And, and so the front truck jerks and jerks and jerks like that back and forth. And then once you get it set up, the guy in the back can stop. <laughs> I'm beginning to, to see that, Stephen. I really am. Have a go, Paris. <laughs> So we got the so so she won the wrong lane. Yeah. Uh, and let's see if I can find out what. See, it doesn't say what that bushing size is. It just says, "Hey, dumb, dumb, dumb." Put a, a bushing goes there. Let's see what does it say. Bushing. Uh, thirty-four, thirty-one. Thirty-four, thirty. It's not even on this page. Yeah, hold on. Front spin, front spindle sleeve bearing. And that's not even okay. That's the front. All right. Yeah, but if you can see right here, let's see if I can show you. Okay. Let's wrap. Uh, wrap. Okay. Where's the stupid hole? There it is. <laughs> if you can see, that's bigger on this end than it is on that end. And that nut right there simply pulls this through and continues to pull it through until you run out of thread or you run out of hole. And so this piece is split in four places all the way up, almost up to here. So it squeezes from here all the way down. Now this may be in too far. This is actually below the surface. If that's the case, then, then this, can't, this can't crush up here because the splits don't go all the way out. They, they don't go, but about, oh, about right along in there. So if that's down in there, then that's gone as far as it can go. But I can could, I could tighten up this nut right here that pulls that bearing in that taper. And, 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 it, and it tightens it up so much to the point it won't turn. But this one right here, this bushing right here, is the one that's allowing it to go up 2,000 and down 15,000 and forward 7 out towards you like this. So, there you go. I need a new lathe. I need a lathe in order to build a lathe. That's alright though. We'll find her one. Yeah, I tried parting off. I tried parting off with a, with a professional parting tool. And then I tried a home ground parting tool. And it will not part off. I watched several videos of parting off. I looked in the book, followed the instructions to the letter. It goes to start cutting, and then it climbs up on top of the bit. It cuts, 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 and then it climbs on top of the bit and breaks the bit off. I adjust it up a little bit, and it cuts, 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 and stops. Now, I've parted off before on a lathe. Yeah, that little lathe will not part worth a dang. You're right. So I've been so when I get ready to cut something off, I just grab the hacksaw and hold the hacksaw up there and cut it off and then face it and we're done. No, it won't. It won't part off at all. Do it again. Do you see what you do, Dash? You hollered a minute. Well, you hurt my tongue. Don't get up on top of my shoulder. I don't mind the parting off part. And I don't mind the threading part. I I, I have taps and dies. I can thread with a die. I can get a... Uh, I, I can come up with a way. I can thread. There's no problem. 
I like Tempkin bearings. Tempkin makes good bearings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Hello. I miss the Tindall beard. All right. Well, I said ten minutes ago we were going to lunch, so I mean we were going to supper. So, ten minutes later, you're yes. talking about the bearings, still. Yes. So. Y'all have less than about three days left. Anybody wants to buy a t-shirt? If not, then we sold a whopping eight. Just eight. Yeah, I, I'm thinking so. It works good with brass and aluminum. And uh, we'll worry about the rest of it later. It's just something to practice on. I mean, but still, you want to practice and learn the proper way. Because when you get a nice one, you don't want to go in there and go, Oh, well, let's try the dumb, dumb mistakes that I made on the little one. Let's try it on this big one. No, don't want to do that. No. Uh, <laughs> Bye.